Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video you saw me turn these very plain and sad looking fingernails into these long and fierce stilettos using the Apro Gel X system and you will have seen the sneak peek of this design that I chose to do. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this then keep on watching. So I'm picking up this design from the very end of my last video and what I'm doing here is I'm just blending in the Apri gel system around the cuticle so that when it grows out there isn't a big step basically between my natural nail and where the extension is. And now that I've been wearing this design for a couple of days, one thing I will say is that I wish I had filed it even further because as it has started to grow out, there is a little bit of a step there. And just for me, given that I normally sculpt my nails from scratch, um, I really try to focus on the cuticle and making it very flush. So that's something that has irritated me a little bit, um, but it's something to work on for next time. So I'm using my buffing block and you can see that because these nails are so long I'm actually struggling to pull back the skin to make sure that I don't clip anything. And I'm just using the cuticle nippers here to nip away any of the pieces of gel that have pushed out from underneath this full tip. This would be the perfect time for you to choose to shorten the tips if you wanted to. However, I decided for the particular design I wanted to do, I wanted to test out the full length, see how I got on with it, and that was what was going to work best for me. So the prep for these is actually really quite minimal. The only thing that you really need to do is take a cotton pad with some acetone on it and rub that over them because they're just a soft gel and that basically melts the top layer and it will rough up the surface a little bit to make sure that your gel polish sticks as best as it can. Now because I'm using an ombre foil I decided that underneath that I wanted the polish to be a bit of an ombre as well so that if there was any missing pieces of foil it would blend in quite well. And this is what I chose to do and I have been trying to get my hands on something like this for so long after watching a Natasha Lee video. She's one of my ultimate favourites for the nail polish, blogging and everything, I just love her. And she did a design using a foil like this a few years ago and I'll try and tag that down below. So you can take any pink nail polish and any turquoisey blue. I chose Pink Bikini by Shellac and this is just a turquoise colour from Lavender Violets. I don't know what the name or number is, it doesn't seem to have anything on the bottle. Um, and the reason I chose these was because I thought that they were a good match to the foil basically. And all I'm doing is I've painted the pink halfway up the nail and I've painted the turquoise on the other half and now I'm taking my trusty brush that I use for pretty much everything and just trying to blend them together a little bit where they meet in the middle. Now this brush wasn't great for that um, and I will acknowledge that fact because whenever I used it, it was just kind of wiping away the polish so I'm having to go in and add some more. But what that meant was I could blend it a little bit better by just using the brush that comes with the bottle and as you can see it's blending the pink and blue quite nicely to create that purple that's in the middle and that's exactly what is in the ombre and then where the harsh line is between the blue and the purple I'm just using the very very edge of the brush to lightly blend those two colours in. I'm going to say straight up I did not do a very thorough job of this. I didn't care if it was messy or tidy or perfect or anything because ultimately it's going underneath the foil. I just wanted to have a bit of a base layer there. So if it comes out really messy, like it really doesn't matter. I'll also say I haven't done a lot of ombre art before, so I'm not very good at it. I don't have the right equipment for it, but this just shows you how you can still manage to get that same effect even if you're not good at it and you don't have the right things. So I would recommend using a much thinner brush like I am doing here. This is just an old sort of striping brush and that means that you can blend it in in much smaller areas at once and it provides a bit more of a, a seamless transition between the colours. 
So I'm doing this on all of the nails and when I'm happy I'm gonna cure it. But yeah, you can see, like this is very much not a perfect blending job, but it's gonna do the trick once I apply the foil. So the next step is to stick on your foil glue or foil gel and of course I didn't film myself doing that but I did put it on and I used the Urban Graffiti Foil Gel Transfer Glue, I think that's what it's called, um, and I have used that in a previous video. And all I'm doing now is I've cut a piece of foil to fit my finger and I'm pressing it on and very gently just rolling my finger across the foil and trying to get that to stick as best as I can along the whole entire nail. Now these are so, so long that I actually need the full length of the foil and I wasn't expecting that, but it does mean that I managed to get all three of the colours in and a pretty decent amount of each colour as well. One thing you can do to help you is use a silicone tool. I actually preferred the effect of just using my finger and I'll show you a clip of that later on. I think that when I just use my finger I actually managed to get a much better and a much clearer transfer whereas doing it this way with the silicone tool I felt that the foil cracked quite a lot and there were a lot of gaps and bits missing that I had to go back in and refill by just tapping and dabbing the foil in place. So as I pull the foil away in the next clip you can see where there are a lot of bits missing and gaps. So I had to go back in and fill those in and that's why there just wasn't that seamless ombre sort of effect. But once I'm finished with the dabbing and I'm happy with where the foil is and how the ombre is looking, I'm going in with my top coat just to seal that all in. And you want to do quite a thorough job of this because once you wipe over with acetone or you start washing your hands, any bits that you've missed with your top coat, it's going to wash off, it's going to come away. And don't worry about the foil that is on the finger, that will come off when you wash your hand as well. It just naturally sticks to anything and everything that it can. So I've gone ahead and finished the rest of the fingers and this is me just showing you one more time what I did. So this is on the thumb and I'm using my finger much more and you can see that the transfer is just a lot better than when I used the silicone tool. So I'm going back in, dabbing any little places that I've missed until I'm happy. Then I'm gonna top coat and move on to the next step. So I'm putting on my top coat and then I'm going to put it into the lamp and finish those off. And the next clip that you're going to see is what I was talking about on my other hand where I didn't use a silicone um, tool at all. I only used my finger and I think the transfer is just a lot clearer and smoother. The pinky finger is using a silicone tool so you can just see the difference between the pinky and the other fingers. So this is the next step that I decided to do. I decided I wanted to do a bit of a funky kind of isolation creation style nail and go with a bit of a cheeky message on my fingers. So I'm taking these holographic silver alphabet um, glitter pieces from, I think it's from Glitter Planet and I'm sticking them into the middle of my nails to spell out a little message. So you can use anything you want to stick these on. I know sometimes people tend to use just regular nail glue. I put a little dab of top coat onto the middle of my nail, stuck them in place and gave them a quick cure. And then once I was finished with that, I went over it with two layers of top coat just to make sure that they were fully encapsulated and there weren't any bits sticking out. But this is the final look. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll see that I've already posted a picture of these and I'm so happy because it got so many likes. Not that likes are everything, but it was very exciting and the first time I've had a picture sort of take off. But I'm really happy with how these turned out and I hope that everyone is staying safe and more importantly, I hope you're all staying home. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.